Dear friends, as we are approaching the end of 2021, time has come to maybe come to some conclusions as far as the Global Energy Association activities are concerned and especially as far as the Global Energy Prize is concerned. Now, despite the pandemics, this has been a successful year for us, thanks to the fact that most of the employees here are vaccinated. That's an important thing given the circumstances. Thanks to that, we've been able to carry out a lot of conferences. We've been able to publish our second consecutive report called 10 Breakthrough Ideas for the Next 10 Years in Energy. And most importantly, we've been able to carry out properly the nomination process and, of course, awarding. We're so glad here that we've been able to have a properly international choice of candidates and we've been able to speak to all of them. Now, one of the winners is, of course, our beloved Itsui. He's getting warmed up. He's open. He's open. Football is a team sport where every player matters. And that is how Professor Yi Chui speaks of his scientific accomplishments as the accomplishments of his entire research team. He is regularly involved in sport, but there can be no doubt that even when he is in training, the professor is thinking of a speciality, nanotechnologies, about how to use them to create improved batteries and other environmentally clean technologies. To put it simply, Yi Chui reinvents batteries that are familiar to us, but with due account for the demands of our time and the future. Nanotechnology has been very powerful to solve uh, challenging problems. I think right now, the scaling up of the nanotechnology low-cost production, people really need to work on this very hard. In my case, I work on silicon, high-capacity anodes for the more than a decade long. It's now about the time the scaling up is coming up. This still requires a lot of investment coming in to really do the low-cost production. But we will be seeing that in the next five to 10 years is going to impact the whole world, having high and high energy density batteries based on silicon. Yi Chui is director of the Precore Institute for Energy at Stanford University in the United States. But his alma mater is the University of Science and Technology of China, which has given the world so many outstanding academics. Also part of his scientific background, a doctorate from Harvard and work at Berkeley. Chewy is one of the most quoted specialists in the world, see for yourself, more than 500 publications. But he goes even further to ensure that his scientific achievements do not remain simple theories. The professor founded five companies that promote e-technologies on real markets and make their contribution to the energy transition. Uh, the transition to the clean energy is so dramatic it will take us 30 years to do the transition in a very aggressive way. Uh, it would normally take uh, people maybe a century to do it if it's not aggressive. I think if the whole society work together, we'll be able to get there and uh, to control the uh, global warming within certain range, uh, the humanity, uh, all the people in the world will be happy about this. But the precondition we is this transition, the energy got to be sustainable, uh, affordable, and also to be secure as well. Publications are still very important for a scientist to boost his visibility, ensure he is quoted in the scientific world, and to pass through the rigors of the global energy selection process. Chewy not only made it on the shortlist, he won. Let's recall here how we announced this in September in Kazan. Indeed, it was a very difficult uh, discussion and the uh, winner of the laureate of this category is Yi Chui. It's certainly uh, my great honor to win Global Energy Prize as a uh, relatively young scientist. I think my advice to young people, undergrad, PhD student, postdoc or young faculty, they should dream big. They should think about solving big problems, not afraid of trying uh, new things.
and uh, not afraid of trying a new approach to, uh, to solve uh, challenging problems. And here we are in October at the Russian Energy Week Forum where Deputy Prime Minister Alexander Novak presented the award to him. We're well, looking forward to have yet another interesting year, the more so that it's going to be a very important year here in Russia. For the first time in decades in St. Petersburg, we will have the Congress of the World Energy Council taking place and we try to actively engage our association in the preliminary preparations uh, for the Congress. Also, I'm very glad to announce that we're looking forward to a trip to Siberia to Russia's oil capital called Hantimansisk. It's there that we will have the meeting of our international committee and it's from Siberia that we will announce the winners of the 2022 nomination cycle. So see you soon and Happy New Year to you.